my soul's been anchored in the Lord, in the Lord, in the Lord. My soul's been anchored in the Lord. God knows my soul's been anchored in the Lord. Amazing. Taylor Horn, let's give her a hand, please. Good morning, St. Pete. How are y'all doing? Despite the weather, this is St. Pete, Florida. You know, we have to get a little bit of winter, right? I'm so honored to stand with you today as we gather to raise the Carter G. Woodson flag in commemoration of Black History Month. Now, your presence here is a testament to the shared commitment we all have to acknowledging, celebrating, and advancing the legacy of African American history in the city of St. Petersburg. I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank our chair, De Deborah Fick Sanders, our city council members, uh, the council members who couldn't make it in today, the walking wounded. We hope you all have a quick recovery. To all the St. Pete team members and our community members, thank you all for joining us here today for this significant moment. A special acknowledgment to Ms. Terry Lipsy Scott. whose efforts not only organized today's event, but continue to play a crucial role in ensuring that our city never forgets the impact of African-American history in our city. Terry, thank you for your dedication and your passion. So as we prepare to raise the Carter G. Woodson flag, let us pause to reflect on the strides we've made in St. Petersburg. We've acknowledged the disparities that exist between black and white citizens in our city. And we've taken positive steps toward significant change. In the heart of our city, a tangible symbol of this change is unfolding in the redevelopment of the historic gas plant neighborhood. Here, we not only seek to redress promises made decades ago, but we aspire to forge new opportunities and hope for new generations. And providentially, with the approval of council, this site will soon be the new home for the Woodson African American Museum of Florida. So as we work to move forward together, we must have a common understanding of our history, our factual history. And with that common understanding, we will move forward in unity. Now, facts matter. And as our founding father, Jan John Adams, famously stated, one of my favorite quotes, facts are stubborn things. And whatever may be our wishes, our inclinations, or the dictates of our passion, they cannot alter the state of facts and evidence. It is in that spirit that we move together, not ignoring or recreating our history, but rather by embracing our true history, learning from it, and moving forward together, standing on that strong foundation of truth. Thank you for being part of this progress. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the chair of our city council, Deborah Fick Sanders. Good morning. Thank you, Mayor Welch, and welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning. I would also like to acknowledge our distinguished members of City Council, Council Chair, Vice Chair Copley Gertis, Council Member Brandy Gabbard, Council Member Ed Montaneri, Council Member Lisette Hanowitz, Council Member Gina Driscoll, Council Member John Muhammad, and Council Member Richie Floyd. Although we are here today to look up as we raise this glorious banner, we also will look forward to a month-long celebrations honoring the significance of black history, a rich and profound history which compels us all to not only look up, look forward, but also to look back. To look back at the struggles, the sacrifices, 
the successes and the spectacular contributions of African Americans that we've made to our country and to our world. We look back to honor the men, women, children, and even our allies who courageously walked into these segregated schools, bravely sat at white-only lunch counters, defiantly walked instead of riding on a bus that will arrive at this destination at the same time, no matter where you sat on the bus. But was it about the destination or about you knowing your place? For these strong men and women of purpose, there should be a level of unmeasurable gratitude allowing us all to stand here today united. We must never forget. This month is very important for our country. In the words of actress and author Karen Parsons, black history isn't a separate history. This is all of our history. This is American history, and we need to understand that. So as we look back on the contributions of our ancestors, Remember, black history is being made every day, and some of those history makers and trailblazers are here with us today. With our future ahead of us and our ancestors behind us, there's nothing we can't do. And to our trailblazers, we thank you. To Mr. Leon Jackson, the last remaining officer of the Courageous 12 and the first black officer assigned to an all-white neighborhood, Mr. Jackson, I speak your name. Today we raise our banner not only to reflect on how much we've done, but also to acknowledge that our greatest moments in history are yet to come. Even though we've accomplished some things that many thought we couldn't, we still have empty pages to write. We have the new Woodson African American Museum of Florida to not only build, but to fill with the black history and remembrance waiting to happen. Everyone, please join me in welcoming our city's own champion who ensures that the elevation and rich history of black history will not only be remembered, but celebrated all year long. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mrs. Terry Lipsy Scott, the Executive Director of the Woodson African American Museum of Florida. I give thanks for this extraordinary day and for each and every one of you who are here with us. Mayor Welch, Council Chair Fix Sanders, members of City Council, Commissioner Flowers, School Board Member Caprice Edmonds, we and all of you, we're gathered today beneath a flag to which we solemnly pledge allegiance reciting one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Pledge of Allegiance, comprising of two drafts, originated in 1892. Despite undergoing four modifications, the phrases indivisible and justice for all have endured in every version. Indivisible implies an inability to divide or separate, but the pledge is further complemented by a proclamation that there should be liberty and justice for all. I stand here today representing a race and culture that has historically been excluded from the concept of indivisibility and we persistently seek liberty and justice that was promised for all. Today, we are faced with the potential of criminalization of gatherings like this for raising a flag in honor of the father of black history, Dr. Carter G. Whitson, and Black History Month, for which we will not be deterred. Last year, we witness attempts to suppress teaching of black history and banned books. We can't help but wonder why the collective stories of African-American contributions to this nation's greatness 
are so troubling to our oppressors? Why must attempts by African Americans to tell their stories, celebrate their successes, and elevate their excellence be perceived as threatening? But rest assured, the Woodson will never be deterred by acts of autocrats. When books were banned, we became advocates and adversaries. When schools were told they couldn't teach black history, the Woodson partnered with Asala and the Shirley Proctor Puller Foundation to create freedom schools. The efforts of those who came before us will not be lost due to cowardice. We take pride in residing in a city where the creation of a properly constructed African American museum that will appropriately preserve, present, interpret, celebrate, and educate others about the untold history of African Americans is paramount. Because indeed, black history matters. For some across the state, building a state-of-the-art black history museum may be a novel idea, but here in St. Petersburg, it has been discussed and planned by the Woodson for over half a decade. As we fast forward today, Mayor Welch's vision to make the Woodson African American Museum the cornerstone of one of the largest redevelopment plans in the country suggests that we're no longer an afterthought but the catalyst for inclusion. We remain humble by the respect garnered from our state, city, and county leaders who are moving towards a legacy that will endure long beyond our years on earth. For their fingerprints will be embedded not only in our city, but also in our state's history for ensuring the creation of Florida's first purpose-built African-American museum. Mayor Welch has imagined a city for all. And with intentionality and with our help, it can not only be visualized, but it can be realized. Today marks the ninth consecutive year that the city of St. Petersburg will raise the Woodson flag over City Hall in honor of Dr. Woodson and Black History Month. This bold initiative began in 2016 and signifies a journey of inclusion that continues today with intentional equity. We commend the courageous example set by former Mayor Christman and fostered by Mayor Welch, demonstrating an understanding of indivisibility. Whether it's City Hall, the Woodson African American Museum, or any storefront or business across our city, we will annually fly the Woodson flag, and further we will celebrate and educate others regarding black history every month. Trust and believe our stories will be told without compromise or suppression. As we raise this flag today, we are one city under one God of many names whom we seek guidance, guidance for goodness. We encourage those who are true to the Pledge of Allegiance and proudly profess, indivisible with liberty and justice for all, to stand with us because after all, it matters not what happens any where else? We are St. Pete. With that, it is my honor for our wonderful mayor to raise our flag here in our city. We'll do it at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. Thank you. 
see. What speak? What the clip goes to which one? Every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmony of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound. Pass has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the presence has brought us. They sing the 